Um, what is happening is actually very sad uh, that in this country there is a super investigator called Junet Mohammed who can investigate an incident within 10 minutes and have the evidence and have the names of those perpetrators uh, because he implicated me and Governor Mandago uh, I had hardly 10 minutes after the event when I had not even known that anything had taken mm -hmm. place. What I want to say is this, as politicians we should desist from hiring people or ferrying our youth to go and heckle others even at funerals. It is an African, it is not in the, in the Kalenjin culture, it's not in the African culture. They know, the police know from those who have recorded statements, they have recorded statements and they have given the names of those who ferried youth to the venue and they are known. But because they want to try and build a narrative mm. that those associated with William Ruto, the close associates of William Ruto, as they call it, are the ones perpetrating violence, that is why you find that my name and Sudi have been put in the list. We are ready to bear the brunt. We are there for justice. Everybody knows, for everybody knows that we are uh, my style of politics. We are style of politics is development oriented. We have always been preaching peace. So we want to call on the residents of Wasingishu to be cleverer than the investigator Junet, mm -hmm. to be cleverer than the DCI which has been uh, captured by state capture and want to tell Kenyans that the true liberation of Kenya is on 9th of August. All those who have been claiming to be fighting for liberation were pretenders. We never knew. They were just pretenders, mm -hmm. same monkeys, same trees, maybe different trees, but the monkeys are the same. So we are um, heading to Nakuru to go and listen to this um, uh, nonsense uh, because it is purely nonsense. And uh, it, whatever they want to do, we are, we, are, we are ready for it because Mimi Nasudi to Najwa Sisi Niweupe Kama Pamba. Who are now under state capture and they will be, be uh, they, are, they are ready to tell a lie. I'm even shocked that uh, Junet would tell such lies during the holy month of uh, Ramadan. Raila Odinga arrived at the function at about 5.30 when we were uh, burying Muzee Kibor already. We were putting in the soil and he came and addressed the media there. Then after that we went into the house, we greeted him, we sat. Governor Mandago was called to go and lay the wreaths. He went out and came back. Then I was called to go and lay the wreaths. I went out and came back. And we sat. I sat even between uh, Junette and Babu Owino, and we were chatting. And I was even asking Junette, thank God I asked him. I told him, you're such a liar. The president told a lie that William Ruto tried to impeach him. Raila Odinga denied that he didn't know about it. But you went ahead to give a story that got covered four pages in the media that there was a plan to impeach the president. When the actual uh, co-collaborator co has denied that there was no story of impeachment. And you know, I told me, you know, Caleb, this is politics. At times we have to tell lies so that uh, we survive. So it's, uh, I'm not shocked. This is something that is uh, very sad that um, a serious institution that has consumed a lot of taxpayers' money to train uh, mm. members of the DCI and all is now being used as a casual. Uh, even the Waze Wamitas <coughs> who are not paid any salary can do a better investigation than those fellows. And what we have said as residents of Wasingishu, and uh, I have told the elders, our Kalenjin elders, that we will call a meeting at the venue of the incident. We shall call a meeting. And according to our culture and Christian culture, we shall pray and we shall name the politicians who ferried youth. We shall name those who bought them alcohol. We have the numbers of the tractors mm -hmm. and their lorries and those who are shouting and jeering others. We have all their names. And as was said yesterday by our party leader, and I want to thank the Deputy President for, mm. for his magnanimity because he came out and decided because the incident happened in, 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 our, in my constituency, he gave an apology on behalf of the UDA party and on behalf of the family of the people of Soy. Uh, he gave an apology. Unlike Raila, who was trying to qualify that William Ruto had no right to go to Kondele and therefore he had to be, he had to be stoned. So I think um, Kenyans are awake. As we say, we have a shortage of fools in Kenya. They are awake to what is happening. They are awake to all this uh, intimidation. And I want to tell people of Kenya, we are very few months. We are, I'm sure me and Sudi will be the last to, to be intimidated and harassed by this system because this system is definitely going home on the 9th of August. Thank you. Thank you.